Island Time VR is a survival game that strands you on a tiny island with nothing but your wits and a very excited crab to help keep you alive. Voiced by everyone's favorite Ragu Bagu Vids co-host, sorry Andy, Greg Miller's Carl the Crab is the star of the show. From the moment you see the main menu, Carl makes his presence known, literally screaming at you to notice him. Hey! It's me! Over, do you see me? I'm the crab! Over here! Once you've started a run, he'll frequently comment on your actions and even hint at what you could try doing in order to stay alive. Hey, I get that you're trying to get the hang of this, and you are doing great, let me just say right now, nobody wants to tell you that, you're doing a great job. But, have you tried holding a rock and a stick together? Whoa, everybody get over here, we got a survivor. We got a survivor man over here. What are you gonna do, you catch a fish with that now? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna get the bird? Knock down the coconuts? You're just gonna hold it? Every few minutes, a crate will wash up on shore with random supplies. These objects, along with the coconuts above and the sticks to your right, can be combined in a variety of ways to craft all sorts of tools that you must use to make it through the night. When you first start playing Island Time VR, your goal is pretty much to die a lot, because you're going to be discovering exactly what you can build and how you can use it to increase your chances of survival. Just rub stuff together and hope that you hear this sound. Oh wow, great idea! I tell you, you and me, we're going places. You're the brains, I'm the claws. Once you've wrapped your head around the mechanics through sheer trial and error, the game's survival aspects really kick in, and you'll find yourself hoarding food, protecting yourself from birds, and being incredibly delicate around potential fire hazards, because you have no idea how quickly this can happen. Oh my, that looks delicious. Can I please have some? We're on fire! It's been great, and I'm sorry you're dead. When it comes down to it, this is a game about one-upping your high score by staying alive longer than ever before. At any time, you can look at your wristwatch to see how long you've been on the island, and when it's time to eat and fill up that health bar. It's surprisingly engaging, and the controls feel really good. Assuming you don't reach outside of the boundaries of the PlayStation camera, which at times can be a challenge. Building a spear, poking at some fish, cooking them, knocking down coconuts, trying to keep a healthy stockpile safe from seagulls until the resources refresh is more or less the gameplay loop here. As the days go on and you make it further, more elaborate and dangerous encounters get thrown at you. But I wouldn't want to spoil that, so you get the gist of it by now. But like I said, you need to be very careful because all of that hard work and prep can be lost in an instant if you make a mistake. You're on fire! Every single round that I played of Island Time VR ultimately ended in disaster, but I guess that's what this game is about learning what not to do in order to get just a little bit further next time. And while I enjoyed my time with the game, it is repetitive by nature and your personal mileage may vary. Strangely enough, I think this is a VR game that's best played with an audience. People shouting orders and laughing at the person playing while they're scrambling to survive in a more intense moment can be quite the show, and taking turns to beat one another's score is a great time. <laughs> Island Time VR is an inoffensive, charming little game that you can lose a few hours to, but it's not much more than that. Carl the Crab adds some much needed flavor and personality to the game, but even his lines are limited and soon enough you'll be tired of hearing the same dialogue over and over again. If you're looking for a goofy game to pull out at a party this summer, I think this is a great call. But if you want something more substantial, it may not be the experience for you. Island Time VR gets a 2.5 out of 5. They were hands, and a watch. They looked at me a lot, and I'll miss that. I'll miss those eyes, staring at me like saucers. Just couldn't drive a boat really well, but the hands and the things they touched with the hands, that's what it's all, now, again, not the boat controls, weren't good at that part. But once they got to the island, they used their hands for all manner of things, and they had that watch, and man, just gonna be a long time waiting for somebody else to come to this island.